three years ago, three years ago, I bought this and several other different brands and types of machetes. And I cleared two acres uh, of vines and brush and saplings with this here. I've even, I even cut down trees with this. And three years later, I am still absolutely convinced that this is the best machete for heavy duty, uh, consistent use, daily use. Uh, it's great steel. It holds an edge. Uh, I have over time nicked this and this area here from about here. I'm going to tell you what it is in a minute. What brand hang in there from about here to about here is where is, is the part of the blade that gets used the most. And right now my wife and I are clearing vines and vegetation that have grown up into a fence because we have to remove that fence. And, uh, so that's where the nicks come from. Hitting fence, hitting rocks, uh, barbed wire. And they, uh, they sharpen right out. You know, this is not the first set of nicks I've put in here. And I like this so much. Gerber Gator Bolo. I like it so much that I went and I bought another one. A second one. And, uh, because my wife and I were fighting over the machete, not fighting, because you wouldn't want to fight with a machete, especially when only, only one of you has it. Now, now we can both fight, have machete fights. Uh, here are the only, after three years, the only bad thing I can say about the Gerber Gator Bolo is the handle is too skinny. It needs to be a much bigger handle. Uh, and uh, here's a word of caution. When your hands start sweating, this stuff is like ice. Wear gloves. Uh, that's my only complaint, is the handle. The handle's too small, and this stuff, uh, when your hands start sweating, is slippery. Now, here's uh, something you need to know if you buy one of these, is that it comes with a primary edge, and it is not terribly sharp. So what I do is take it out to my belt sander and I put a secondary bevel on there and uh, and then I sharpen that secondary bevel to uh, razor sharp on my sharpening stone right in here. And uh, I did this the other day. I should uh, get a piece of paper out and show you how sharp that is. But I don't have my tripod in here. It's from about here to here, it's still sharp because it does not get used that much. But from here to here, I'm going to have to put the edge back on. And when you're using it hard and heavy, you know, every two or three days, you got to touch it up. So, uh, you know, I don't review a lot of things unless I am 100% behind them and uh, would buy them again. So here's where I put my money where my mouth is. I bought a second one. I like it so much. Gerber Gator Bolo. This was 20 bucks shipped to my door on Amazon. And uh, I have probably seven or eight other machetes, including a Trementina and uh, just all kinds of other brands that I've tried. And none of them work as good as this does. Now, this, there, there are things that this is not good at and a skinny, flexible, longer machete would be good at. And that is being able to swing it super fast to uh, cut vines and stuff. Uh, this is a heavier blade. Let me show you the spine. It's uh, a good eighth inch thick. So it's kind of a heavy blade. And it's really good for chopping and slicing and, and, and uh, cutting saplings and stuff like that but it is not good for slashing through vines. Now, I am cutting vines, but I'm cutting them at ground level. So this is perfect for that. And that's why these just get beat to hell because they're, they spend as much time in the ground as, you know, cutting through the air. But uh, there you have it. That's my two cents. Uh, I really like 
the uh, Gerber Gator Bolo, and uh, I would buy it again. In fact, I have. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm fixing to go put the edge on these. All right, I'm going to uh, show you how sharp this three-year-old heavily used machete is. And it'll hold this edge uh, under heavy use for quite a long time, actually. And, uh, you know, if you touch it up, you know, after a couple of weeks of use, uh, it's not, it doesn't take but uh, 20 minutes to, to do it. All right, here we go. A machete. Not bad for a machete, huh?